Hey you guys and welcome to another great workout by me, Kyle McCormick, Certified Strength and Conditioning Specialist. Today we're going to be working on shoulders and biceps. <clears throat> Just quick note before we get started, you're going to need a little bit of equipment here. As you can see I've got my bands out. If you don't have bands you can use dumbbells for this too. They work great. Um, there's going to be an addition in this where I'm going to be using my sandbag here. And again, if you guys don't have a sandbag, that's fine. You can use a dumbbell uh, or as you can see, I have a little kettlebell here. Um, I'll show you how to use that in substitution for one of the workouts. Um, but like being said, let's go ahead and get started and get our warm up going here. Getting close to Christmas time, getting close to... <clears throat> Some of us are going to be probably picking out on some holiday food. I know I will. Can't help it, folks. Food's too good to pass up. So what do we do? Work out hard. All right, then we take those couple days for the holidays, relax, recover a little bit, and then we go right back into it after we're finished with it. Now, I know a lot of you guys might be watching this after the New Year saying, oh, I made a New Year's resolution, going to lose X amount of pounds or put on so much weight and muscle. Let's go ahead and get into our high knees now, which is great. Great to have a goal. Always have a goal in mind. But the key to that goal is keeping at it. I know plenty of us, I'm, probably all of us, have had a New Year's resolution or two didn't go well. You know, and that's all right. We just got to keep at it, keep our minds right. You know, don't worry about the past. There's nothing we can do about it. Just focus on the now, focus on the present. Don't look too far ahead in the future. Because we can't plan everything out. Things happen. Just do what you can now. And right now, if you're watching this video, you're dedicating that time and energy into getting your body stronger, getting your mind right. All right, go ahead and do our jumping jacks here. I said we're going to be working the shoulders today. So if you have shoulder issues, you might want to take the time for this workout to really get those shoulders warmed up. Maybe do some stretches and little workouts that you might have been shown by a physical therapist or a physician. As I've said in my previous videos, the shoulder is one of the weaker, weaker joints because it's freely movable. More range of motion in your joint, more chances of it getting injured. All right. Our arm circles. Start medium this time. I was doing big at first. Let's go into mediums. Medium circles. So. Going forward. You go ahead and go backwards now. Yeah, not too big, not too small here. It's not medium. Medium range. Should start to feel a burn here. The shoulders. That's a good thing. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and go forward and make our arm circles bigger. Keeping our fingertips pointed down as we're doing these. going to 
reverse. Now we're going to go out and back, throw our hands just slightly behind us, and then we're going to lean forward a little bit, stretch it out. Keeping everything slow and controlled, not too fast. Do some clappers here. Really getting those shoulders fired up today. My fingertips are touching. I know you probably can't see the video, but my fingertips are touching at least. If you want to clap, actually clap, you know. Alright, now we're just gonna shake it out. A little bit of huggers here. Getting those arms ready. We're moving into our first workout. So, this workout is gonna consist of seven exercises, three rounds, uh, similar to my last chest. Uh, workout that I did. I'm going to try to keep it a little bit shorter. 45 minute range. Might go a little bit over. So do what we can here. The first one's going to be a standing press. This is what I was talking about with your bands or with your dumbbells. A good way you can do, you know, if you're going to look into to build size, you're going to stick with uh, 8 to 10. And for more lean or endurance you know, based stuff. Uh, go with your 10 to 12, 10 to 15 range. Some of you guys that have the shoulder injuries and have weaker shoulders, you might just want to stick to that uh, higher number or just lighten the load and do less less uh, reps. That's fine too. Do whatever works for you. If you've got the bands, of course, you can see I'm standing on top of them just like this. I've got my arms pointed out and we're just pressing up just like this. And if you've got dumbbells, do the same thing with the dumbbells. If you don't have either, what you can do instead of both, instead of either of these are the pikes, which is just where you're going to go straight up like this, almost like in a downward dog position. All right. And then we're just touching our forehead to the ground, just very lightly touching our forehead to the ground. All right. So let's go ahead and start. As you can see, I only did 10 there. It's all based on what your goals are. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is going to be a hammer curl. Again, using the bands here. If you've got them. If you don't got them, you got dumbbells. Dumbbells are good too. Well, I'd, rather, I'd honestly prefer dumbbells over bands for this one, but I just don't have dumbbells. So, we're standing. Feet shoulder width apart, on top of the bands if you've got them. Feet are down, our arms are parallel down. Our wrists are pointing out, or our thumbs are going to be pointing up whenever we're lifting. So that's the motion right there. All right, again, eight to 10 if you're building muscle, and then stick to 12 to 15 if you're wanting to lean out. 
All right, let's get to it. taking too long of breaks here. Sorry I didn't mention that at the beginning. We're not taking too long of breaks. Just going one after the other. If you guys need a longer break, pause the video, take a longer break, get some water. That's fine too. So, next thing's going to be some dive bombers. This is more of a higher rep exercise because we're not using any weight. So, I want you guys to do at least 10 to 15 of these. If you can do more, great. If not, don't worry about it. You can do what you can. Alright, you can't get 10, that's fine too. Just do as many as you can. So this one we're just going down under the fence like that. And then coming back down, back under the fence. Alright, we're not dipping down. I mean our hips are almost touch our hips are just barely touching the ground here. And then we're coming back down and back up. So let's get started. Next exercise we're going to do, this is going to involve the sandbag for me, some of you guys at home have kettlebells, I'll show you that variation too. Those of you guys that got sandbags, I'll go ahead and show you this first. So this is a sandbag power clean. So what we're going to do here, is we're going to start from the ground, alright, and there's a variation for you guys that don't have dumbbells, or a sandbag here too. So. We're going to grab, hands kind of close in, you've got the close grips here, or these grips here, my sandbag's got multiple little grips on it, and our motion is going to be looking straight, straight up, alright, knees bent, almost at 90 degrees, and we're going to shoot straight up, jump, and catch it, come back down into that. So again, that whole motion is going to be looking straight up, back is straight. We're literally jumping up, pushing our hips forward, catching it, and coming back down. So just like that right there. All right. Now you guys don't have a sandbag, you have a kettlebell or a dumbbell. Just alternate. If you've only got one, you can alternate. I wouldn't, you can use two here as well, just doing that same motion I just showed with the kettlebell. You know, you're not going to go all the way down to touch the ground, but you're going to just let it hang freely here. And then we're just going to jump looking straight up, and we're just jumping straight up, and we're catching it like that. All right, again, that's just jumping straight up, catching it. And again, we are alternating on that. So, depending on how many reps you do, just do half one side and go half the other. All right. Again, goal repetition for this. I'm using lighter weight. Do 10 to 10 to 15. You got heavier weight. Working on more of a power approach to it. Uh, do 8 to 10. I'm not looking at going. Full, full bore here like we would with a traditional barbell power clean because we're not using barbells. All right. So the important thing here to keep your back straight again. And we're just coming up and catching it, coming back down. Up, catching, coming back down. Up, catching, 
coming back. And as you can see, I'm not the fastest movement of this. It's on the way up. I'm not just letting this thing drop down. Everything is controlled on the way down. Keep my head up. It's very important for back health, you know, for all safety and doing this exercise. Really try to get a little bit of air, a little bit airborne. Try not to come forward with it. I know it's hard. workout or pause the video take a break if you need to this is a reverse shoulder workout call it a reverse shoulder raise not really familiar too familiar with the actual technical name of it is but we're using lightweight here we know more than 20 pounds unless you're superman and can't feel it and obviously add more weight but we're doing higher reps here with these ones so I want you doing any less than 10 repetitions with these. These are going to work our rear deltoids. Something a lot of people neglect. You don't see very many people in the gym working these. It's very important. Neglect muscles in your shoulders. That's how you get hurt. So, as you can see, I've got the band here. It's about to my hip. You know, it's right, right there, a little bit below my hip. All right, and my arms straight down all right try to show you that guys at a decent angle here all right so my arm is straight down and we are just pulling it back all right now this is not the right direction for me but if I was showing you guys from the other angle, it's just going to look like we're going straight back. Not going forward. We're just going straight, straight back. All right. As far back as we can. All right. We're just doing 10 to 15 of these. Slow and controlled. A little bit of pause. Top there if you want. You can do the same thing with dumbbells too. You, don't, you guys don't have bands at home, that's fine. Do the same thing with a dumbbell. Keeping our body straight. We're not bending over or trying to yank this thing back at all. We're just standing straight. Straight up. That's what the bicep exercises too. Not going to be bending over or trying to use our bodies to move the weight like that or anything. Just standing straight. If the weight's too much, just get a lighter band or a lighter dumbbell. Some of you guys that don't have either one at home, honestly, you probably just do this with a soup with a with a decent sized soup can, a can of soup. You know, just hold that. Do this exact same motion. Bring it back as far as you can, hold it a little bit. You'll feel it. You should be feeling it right in here. All right. Next one we're going to be doing is chin ups. Or if you don't have a chin up bar or bands at home. Uh, adjust to this format on the door you and you have dumbbells 
Let's do traditional bicep curl. It's the traditional bicep curl again. Standing straight, we're not bending over. And have our palms out, barbell in our hands. We're just going straight up. Or if you want to, turn them to where the, your thumbs are pointed out. And then twist them going up. It's another variation of it. I personally like the palms out coming in. I feel like it isolates the biceps a little bit better, but this works more muscles in the biceps too. Either one's good. Alright. Adjusting the weight here. you guys too it's always important to well I'm not going to remind you because I never told you I'm sorry about that it's always important to look at my description of these workouts before you start them too because it'll give you the exact time and how much each one of them is going to take the equipment needed and what muscle groups are going to be working all right so sitting down kneeling or squatting down we're just having our palms facing facing towards us and we're just bringing this in straight, straight into our chest. Again, 10 to 15, 8 to 10, whatever you want. Somewhere in that range, though. You guys might notice too, whenever you're using the bands, whenever I was sitting down, I was kind of going right here at this angle, but then I squatted down and I got it from up here. Up here works a lot more than in front like this. And I'm sorry I didn't mention that at first. Alright. So, last exercise of this round is going to be our front raises here. So we're going to switch the weight up again and come off the door. If you guys don't have bands, have dumbbells, get some really light dumbbells. Lighter bands, you know, 10 to 20 pounds, nothing too heavy at all. We don't want to hurt ourselves because we're going to be doing around 10 to 10 to 15 reps with this one too. All right. Stand on top of your band if you've got it. Arms are down. And we're just raising them both straight up like this. And a little bit, a little bit past our face, get that better range of motion with this one. Some guys like to just stop right here. I like to go up a little bit. Because it just gives you a better, more range of motion whenever we go up higher. So almost, almost all the way up. Just stopping right before. Again, 10 to 15 with this one. Light weights. Let's get at it. Again, we got three rounds of this guy, so first round, you know, not feeling too energetic yet. I just want to do a couple less to kick it in on the second round and really burn it out in the third. Give yourself a little bit of break. Again, don't sit down. Keep moving. That blood flowing through those arms. 
you know, check your weight and your bands. You're going through some of this stuff, and it was just like, man, that was way too much weight, or man, that was too light. Break out the bands, change them up, pause the video, move some stuff around if you need to. All right, do what you got to do. And I know I don't play music on here. Um, that's just because I don't own the rights to any music at this time. I don't want to get in trouble. So if you guys got music at home, feel free to hit the caption. You know, cap just hit that caption button. Read off the captions. Do your workout at home. Get the music playing. You know, I know that I usually like. I love music whenever I work out, but I'm not gonna. I don't want to risk it. So, all right. Let's get started again with our standing shoulder press here. And you know, you guys can use a sandbag for this one too, if you want to. If you have a sandbag at home, you don't have dumbbells or fans, use a sandbag the same way as you do a regular standing press. You know, you're just putting it over your head. You know, with the sandbag, we're just going up and we're just pressing straight up like that. But if you've got the bands, let's get out with the bands. Lighten the weight a little bit. So I want to be able to crank out more than I did before did the last time and I'm feeling a little bit a little bit tired tired this morning so let's go ahead and get at it. Desired rep range of 12, 10 to 12. Okay, next one we're on to is the hammer curls. So again, using the bands here if you got them. If not, you got a sandbag, do the same thing with sandbag. You know, I've got these two handles here. They work really well for this. And I'm just curling it straight up. You know, and with this one again, my body is straight. Not swaying or anything, keeping a straight body. If you need help, if you feel like you're swaying too much, what another thing you can do is you got a wall or something at home, just put your back up against the wall, take the weight, do it with your back up against the wall, helps you stand erect and not bend over so much. You bend over and move and sway too much. With this exercise, you're gonna get hurt. We do not want that, so. You got the bands at home, let's go ahead and get cranking. Or dumbbells, whatever you got. Gallon water jugs. Works too. Use what you can. All right, moving on to our dive bombers. All right. All right, let's go ahead and get at it. Again, 10 to 15 if you can. Next is our sandbag power clean. I'm going to go ahead and take my ring off because it's a little bit uncomfortable with a ring on for me. So, 
and break this out. Let's get at it too. Remember we're doing 8 to 10, 10 to 15. All right. Okay, those are tough depending on how much weight you use and how many reps you're doing. Alright, now I got the reverse shoulder, Let's switch some stuff up here, get a lighter weight. In band, it's right at my hip, below my hip. And if you need to adjust a little bit, go down. All right, let's get started again. 10 to 15 on each side, or anywhere in between the two. Switch hands. Some of you guys notice, and I don't go far that far back. We got really tight shoulders. Used to do powerlifting and played football and stuff, so my shoulders don't go too far back. I'm going as far back as I can get them. Some of you more flexible people, guys and girls out there, go way back. That's fine too. Just work with what you got. All right. Next is going to be our chin ups. Bands here, or traditional dumbbell curls. If you don't feel like you're getting it with the bands, I'm not doing it for you. That's all right. Just go to traditional dumbbell curls or sandbag curls, kettlebell curls, whatever you got. Hit them like that. It's no big deal, you just got to adjust to what you need. You want to feel the burn, you want to be sweating a bit now. This is the second round. If you're not feeling like you're getting a good workout of the weight, of the, of the reps, go move through your workout faster. I know that I'm taking my time adjusting stuff and all that. Some of you guys might have stuff preloaded. You want to just go through it, you can. You can just go to what's next in it. Exercise after exercise after exercise, and once the round's done, you want to pause a little bit, it's fine too. If not, move through the next round, it's cool as well. Let's get at it.
I was going to wear our front raises. So again, I'm taking this off here. We can do a lighter weight. If you guys only have one dumbbell or one kettlebell, just a sandbag at home, you can do it with a sandbag too. Do it with the one dumbbell, one arm at a time, and a little one kettlebell. Key to this one is just to remember not to be swaying, just like with the bicep curls. You want to keep your body straight. One higher higher reps, lighter weight, 10 to 15. Let's go. He's knocked out. That is done. We're done with our second round here. Where are we at with time? 37 minutes. So again, I'm sorry guys, this one's going to take a little bit longer. It's just because we're using more equipment. You use more equipment depending on whether or not you got a lot of equipment or not. It's pretty loaded, set up. It's going to take a little bit. Again, read the description. And work out. So you know what you're going to need before coming here. You know, you don't want to listen to me talk in the beginning and fast forward through it. You know, you just want to see what I do in the first round, write it down, and then crank it out on your own. That's fine too. Do whatever works for you. Or if you've got the time, follow me along. That's good too. All right. So I'm going to move a little bit quicker here. This last one try to really burn it out. I'm going to use my sandbag and we're going into our standing shoulder press. All right, same thing with bands. You guys want to adjust to get the band, it's cool too. I'm going to go ahead and start again, keeping our body straight. We're just going straight up with the sandbag here over our head. All right. thing we're moving into hammer curls again I'm going to speed through this take my ring off because it's uncomfortable and I'm going to do hammer curls with my sandbag here you guys at home want to use the bands adjust grab those bands grab those dumbbells let's get it cranking getting back straight got problems Keep them straight back. Stand up against the wall. <sighs> Sandbag really works good with these guys because the, the weight's at a different position than you're used to with the traditional dumbbells or bands. So moving into our dive bombers now. And 10 to 15 with this. Next thing we got, 
sandbag power cleans. All right. Not wasting too much time here. Just move straight into it. Take my ring off again. All right. Let's get to it. An eight to ten. Ten to fifteen. Next one of these, reverse shoulder, in and out of breath, moving faster. Not taking as long as the brakes, I'm talking much. Alright. And you guys know the deal with these 10 to 15. Moving on for chin ups. And trying to go quick. Not too much of a rest. Each one of these exercises. All right, let's get at it. Eight to ten, ten to fifteen. Remember to try to point your head down so that whenever you're coming in, your hands are almost coming to your ears. You'll feel it better with the bands. Final workout the front raise. Now, I'm not going to use a sandbag for this one because my sandbag is pretty heavy. I'm not going to use it because I don't want to get hurt, use too much weight, not do as many reps as I need to do with it. Be smart. Too heavy, you're not getting that 10 to 15 range. You drop the weight. If you're bending your back too much, drop the weight. Alright, let's go.
All right. That's it. It's our workout today. Three rounds. I'm going to start our cool down now. We are at 45, 46 minutes now. It's been a little bit longer than yesterday's. Don't want to skip the cool down. All right. Shake it out. Get some water. Do what you need to do. And again, I know I'm trying to shorten these videos. Some of you guys might not have an hour, you know, to do each one of these workouts. But I'm telling you, man, if you can plan, you know, wake up a little bit earlier or, you know, miss one of those TV shows you like and, you know, just plan for just an hour out of your day to work out, you know, three to six times a week, guys, it'll add years to your life. It'll be such a good confidence boost. It helps with depression, anxiety, loneliness, you know. Helps keep us healthy. I know the COVID vaccine is here now. But still, you never know what's coming next. We want to keep our bodies in shape. We want to keep us ourselves healthy so that God forbid something like this ever happens again and it's still going on all right not everybody's got the vaccine yet some people are going to wait maybe a little bit longer to get the vaccine just to see how everything pans out with it it's completely your choice what you want to do but in the meantime Staying healthy, staying fit, staying in shape, getting in shape. It's going to help you regardless. Helps with sleep. Again, helps with our mood. All right, just cooling down here. All right. We can get into our stretches now. Left arm over. Right. Lock it in. Hold it for ten for uh, fifteen, ten to ten to fifteen seconds. All right, right arm over left again. Ten to fifteen seconds. Trice up here, then 15 seconds, grab onto that elbow, hand is in the middle of our back, pull it down. And switch your arms. Some swimmers here reverse. About five each side. And go forward. Back five. And forward five. Alright, now we're gonna work the back a little bit. So we're gonna get on down into our cobra pose or Upward dog. Alright, cobra knees on, upward dog knees off. Looking up, shoulders are 
out in front, shoulders are back, I mean. Again, 10 to 15 seconds. And bring it back. We're going to do our cat cow pose here, so. And dip that middle of your back down, looking up, cat. And curl it up. Here we go. The dog stretching. Cat stretching. We're just going to go back and forth. Inhale. And then exhale. Alright, let's sit back into our child's pose here. Sit on our heels. Take a minute, exhale. Next, we'll work our glutes. Alright, so reach through the hole here. Left leg is over right knee. Pull it back. Ten to fifteen again. Alright, next leg. You guys feel like you need to take longer with that one? Go ahead. Feel like you need to take more than 15? You can do up to 20 with each one of these stretches. All right. You guys, that is it. That's it with this workout. Appreciate you watching the video again. Again, I'm Certified Strength and Conditioning Specialist. My name is Colin McCormick. Hung up the certification up there. You guys want to zoom in on the video and see that. I uh, got a bachelor's degree up there as well, West Virginia State University in uh, sports studies, which is a health and human performance, profession, uh, health and human performance uh, schoolhouse, whatever it's called. Um, <clears throat> a degree, health and human performance degree, sorry. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys staying in shape. Appreciate you watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. Uh, add some comments below if you want. And uh, subscribe to my channel. I'll be pushing out more videos here soon. Thanks again.